Okay, welcome back. We are working our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. So we are on Lab 4, Performing Post-Installation Configuration. And we are up to 4.4, which is installing Hyper-V. Now Hyper-V is the foundation for creating virtual machines. So we're going to get into that. So it wants us to get into, to go ahead and log into CL1. And so we'll be in CL1 and our domain controller. Okay, we're logged into our domain controller as a data administrator. And now we're going to log in to CL1 as a data administrator. Okay, we're going to do other user. Password. Okay, now we're going to go into our command prompt, but the text specifically says admin command prompt. Right click search CMD so I'm going to try doing right click and then run as administrator And now I'm just going to change my properties of my font just so it's easier to see. Okay. Now we're going to execute this command. We're going to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash Enable dash feature space forward slash feature name colon Microsoft dash hyper dash V space forward slash all. Now on a computer running Windows 10, you can install Hyper V using programs and features. On a Hyper V machine, we can't run Hyper-V using the program features, so we're not going to be able to run virtual machines that way. Basically, you cannot run a Hyper-V machine on another Hyper-V machine. However, if you install, you can install Hyper-V using the DISM, and you can create and manage virtual machines that way. So while I'm waiting, I just want to show you where that is. Although I have already shown you when we when we during the initial setup. So if I go into apps and features, and if we go apps and features.
Well, that's interesting. All right, so I'll close out of this. All right, so do you want to restart Windows now? We're going to do yes. And I'll pause just while we wait for this to work. Now we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> right click the start button. And we want to go into programs and features. Okay, apps and features. I'm going to do it through this way. So from apps and features, what we have to do is scroll all the way down and see where we have related features, related settings. We want to do programs and features. And turn Windows features on or off. And here you see that we have Hyper-V installed. Okay, if you are following along in your lab manual required to do so, this would be where you would take your next screenshot. Now we'll go ahead and click on OK, but we're going to leave CL1 open for the next exercise. Close this, and that's the end of the video, and I'll see you on the next exercise, which is creating and managing virtual machines.